from WNYT, Albany, in HD. News Channel 13, live at noon, begins right now. Well, when we come back, tips on how to make the transition to a retirement community a bit easier. Welcome back. Downsizing can be difficult for seniors moving to a retirement community. So joining us today, Helen Volk from Beyond Clutter. She's got some tips on how to get rid of all that stuff. Good to see you. Oh, my Benita, it's fabulous to be with you again. It's not about getting rid of everything per se in that you'll never see it again. There's ways to keep your stuff but not have your stuff. Correct. You know, I've been helping people downsize for 22 years. And what I tend to say is, look, you're going to get rid of half of what you own, but keep half of what you own. So don't think of it as deprivation. Think of it as choosing again those things you're going to have in your life. If you move to a retirement community like Eastwick, for example, you're going to get a two-bedroom apartment. So if you have a house with three bedrooms, an attic, a basement, right. a garage, you got to look at the space <coughs> you're losing because that tells you what you have to clean out. How do you prioritize what you keep and what you get rid of? Well, to me, you always start with easy stuff. You try to get rid of all the stuff that is poor quality and you don't want people to know you've kept. These are things you trash uh, or recycle. So you go through and get rid of all this stuff you've settled for, raggy kitchen towels, bird spatulas and all this. You clean all of that out because the name of downsizing is quality, not quantity. And if you start with what I call easy stuff, stuff you can't even give away, right. then you start developing your declutter muscles and all the other decisions come easier. There are things that you think are valuable, but you just don't have room for everything. You talk about taking pictures of it. Yes, there's two kinds of pictures to take. First, if you're in a house you've been in forever and the house itself is sentimental, start with a video camera outside the front yard, take a picture of the whole house room by room. Second of all, if you have sentimental items that you know you can't take because the china cabinet's too big, take a photograph of it. But the key is to print them out, make a collage, collage on the living room wall, and you'll enjoy that piece even if you don't have it anymore. Then there are things that you're not going to keep, but they are valuable. How do you disperse those? Do you sell them? What do you do? Well, you have options, of course. Selling is one. But I think most people first ask their family members, do you want to have that? Because that would give the person downsizing a chance to go visit it. So that's what my mother always used to say to me. So I've never forgotten it. So first, you ask your family. Then second, you can decide whether you want to sell an item, and you can do it locally or online. Um, but as the decision-making is so huge, I don't necessarily recommend you start there. Those are the decisions you put off a while. And start this early. Don't do it a don't few wait. weeks before. You Helen, don't even need to know where you're going. Right. Helen Volk, Beyond Clutter, thanks so very much. You have so many great suggestions. Thank and you. we're going to be back with a last look at that forecast next.